Hi friends, it is I, Sincerely Unique, <laughs> and we are back for yet another side story that has come out in Final Fantasy XIV. Today we are tackling uh, Tataru's Grand Endeavor. This is a series of quests that was introduced here in Patch 6.15. Uh, for now, I think the only requirement is finishing up the main scenario of 6.0, but later on we have been warned that there, if you have not completed certain side content that you will not be able to continue the quest line. Or maybe just flat out miss, that, miss out on dialogue. <laughs> Here we are. Small business, big dreams. Medina seems inordinate, in, inordinately eager to speak with you. <sighs> words. Words of wrath. Alex Hirasol. Welcome, welcome. I am Medina, assistant shopkeep and apprentice seamstress here at Tataru Taru's boutique. I doubt you remember my face, as I am merely one of many who owe you our lives, but you will always have my gratitude for saving me that day on the Eblon Rhyme. Aw, thank you. Uh, I don't remember you that well, but... <laughs> you are too kind, and while I hate to ask you aught more of you, please say that you're here to assist in Mistress Tataru's new endeavor. Um... Not yet, but he should shall be... There she is. Oh, no. There she is. Oh, no. Whatever would we do without your penchant for turning up so precisely when you're needed, huh? Oh, no. Salix is afraid. Now, to make the long story short of our solvency short, we've secured the resources to produce the new designs I've developed in cooperation with the guilds near and far and in sufficient quantity to meet a rising demand. We shan't rest on our laurels, however. To serve passing adventurers and the occasional intrepid Charlayan is all well and good, but we're hardly taking the world by storm, no. Much like yourself, we must look forward toward new horizons. The Scions have proved that cooperation on a star-wide scale is possible, and we would be fools not to capitalize on that to build the grandest trade network in the history of Hydaelyn, and for all for the greater good, of course. Oh, they're not- they're not calling it a theorist. <laughs> yes, this is a wonderful opportunity to bring people together. I often think back to that incredible moment when the Garlean army came to our rescue. Perhaps our efforts, too, will one day lead to a miracle like that which took in the place of Eblon Rhyme. I have no doubt they shall, but we mustn't expect such alliances to form themselves. We must be proactive, and who better to woo our future partners in commerce than our current number one customer, you! <laughs> I guess I am, but I haven't spent much gill on you. Our erstwhile comrades in arms know that when it comes to a good equipment and better ideas, you have such keen eyes as our adventurer extraordinaire. I, I do love my glam. <laughs> Even should they hesitate at first, I'm certain you can convince them using the samples I prepared. If you cover my etherite expenses. But of course, with your assistance, we'll have both coin and goodwill flowing in no time. Why are we helping? First, uh, yesterday we helped Emelians get, uh, get money, and now we're helping Tataru. <laughs> uh, everything is falling into place. Where shall we send Salix first? <laughs> Don't you worry, I have it all planned out. She did an evil laugh. First, Limza Laminza. Sycard has the bloody executioners working harder than ever, so he's sure to appreciate any extra supplies. Next, Gridania. The Seed Seers are a source of trusted authority and insight into the Shroud, so we'd not go amiss in cultivating the investment of, say, Arun Sena. I hear tell that he has some interest in affairs abroad, so the novelty of our samples may persuade him to our side. As for Ulda, I feel confident in her pinning her hopes on Pippin. He's always been a stalwart ally, and it goes without saying that he has more than a little sway in the Sultanate. Between his involvement in the Immortal Flames, the Syndicate, and the Colosseum, he's bound to be a use for quality accoutrements. Uh, Oh, we're going to revisit all three of the cities. Uh, I like the dragon lady. 
with that out of the way, Magina, would you do the honors? Hmm? What are what are these anyway? What what do these bags have? Never let it be said that Tataru Taru is stingy with her samples. Now, if you would make your way to Limbs and Clyde aboard the Astalicia, I am certain someone will point you in Psycard's direction. Uh, sure. Thanks. I have my own adventure avenues of inquiry to attend to, but I'll check in periodically to see how your journey is coming along. Let's get to it. Hooray! Da da da! Speak with Hot Swab and Limza Lamenza. I'm gonna go take the boat because uh, I think that's the best course of action. Isn't there an Aetherite right, right next to the. Yeah, we'll go to Limza that way. Um, I'm gonna cut this out. I will see y'all in a second. Hello! I am back. Um. I always forget how to go up this boat. We're looking for Hot Swab. Is he at the top of this? Where is he? Hello? Are you up here? I know there's a sightseeing log here. I've, I've finished the ARR sightseeing log, fun fact. You, sir. I recognize ye. What do ye want? Uh, so there's this, like... And long as it's not another about another bloody apocalypse, I don't see why not. Wait here. Oh, is this where we met with Psycard in 5.4? It's been so long. It's been so long. It's been so long, you guys. It's been almost a year. <laughs> Please. I think it's been a year. Oh, we have the bag there. I didn't even... I saw it in the corner there. Well, bugger me. Hi. Thought we'd seen the last of you for a while. What brings you aboard? You're kind of interested you in some garb today. I might as well be honest with him. Hey, your sales pitch needs some work, but I see where you're getting at. We're already traveling halfway across the world every moon, half moon. May as well earn a little extra for our trouble, huh? You know, there was a time I thought Pyroton was the whole world. That being the best of the best of them all meant something. Going to Ilsebard made me see how small my world was compared to the real one. Standing next to the star's finest, I started to wonder when I had what I had to brag about. Then the bloody executioners went and did me proud by bringing in a bigger goddamn hall of adamantite than anyone else in the realm. Between that and the new metalworks we've got going in the, with the kobolds and the Sahagan looking to export their own wares, it seemed like the right time for the executioners to change our sails, so to speak. Which is to say, if you've got wares for promoting, I'd be happy to show them off across the realm and beyond. Oh, thanks. Masterworks from Tataru Taru's boutique, guaranteed by the warrior light himself. Almost seems like a waste to wear them. Folks will be lining up at the docks for these. Literally, seeing as old Charlene's only accessible by sea, now if we've got ourselves an exclusive shipping contract. Oh, a business deal, huh? Aye, I see the course is clear as day. Now we just need a monolane on board. I forgot these friends with a monolane now. He's right useless when there's work to be done, but talk's another matter. And he still owes me one for keeping his sorry arse out of trouble. So I'll have him put me in touch with a few savvy salesman types on the continent. Nice, nice, nice. We love, they love this plan. Well, tell Tataru I look forward to setting sail on this new Titus. May the winds of change guide us all right. Please excuse me. I'm really bad at pirate British acting. Shing, shing, shing. Salix, it's me. How goes our little venture thus far? Oh, Sarkard's eyeing the shipping routes, is he? All according to plan. But our work has only just begun. I'll keep after my own contacts while you work on Abrun. 
I hear he's not often in the city, but I don't doubt that Mother Mion can sip sniff him out. <laughs> okay. Um, I started in an old, uh, um, I don't know Mother Mion as other people who started in Gridania, the Bard mains, the Lancer mains, the Conjurer mains. Oh my gosh, I see a bunch of people working on this quest. All right, where are we going? Mother Mion? Oh, she's right here. See, this is nowhere near as bad of a walk as um the one from Limsum. Why, if it isn't Salix Hirasol, struck with the sudden craving for eel pie, were you? Or is information is it information you fancy? Oh yes, word of our seed seer's comings and goings never fails to reach my ears. I'm told that ever since he returned from his foray to Ilsa Bard, he's been roaming back and forth between our neighboring tribe settlements and the Lotus Stand. You'll miss him if you make for one or the other, like as not, so I suggest you waylay him at the Blue Badger Get. Get? Gate. <laughs> Reading. Uh, the worst part about all of the side content that's come out this patch is none of it is voice acted, so I'm just here like, well, it is just a little old me today. Hello? Oh, there he is! He, he has voice... He has Schultz voice actor, fun fact, I'm pretty sure. I kinda want that coat. It's comfy looking. It's clipping through its jacket, though! I never realized that. Curious. Wait, what are these kids doing? Are we trying to entertain the kids? The staff is blocking Salix's face so I couldn't see. Hello, kiddo. Well, not kiddo. I don't know. Ruin's a kid, right? I forget. Might I ask why you're loitering at the gate, Salix, and with such an enormous sack? <laughs> well... You see, there's this Lalafell who really, really loves Gil, and I am involved in helping her make some Gil. I admit you piqued my interest. To integrate the tradition and ingenuity of the guilds throughout Eorzea in such a fashion is no small feat. As it happens, I'm on the mind to do something similar myself, assuming I secure the other seed seer's approval. You are doubtless aware that historically, Redania has placed the peace of the Twelve's Wood in our covenant with the elementals above all else, often to the detriment of our relationship with other peoples. Yet, as much as we are one with the Shroud, are we not also a part of the Shroud Star entire? Our adventures in Garlemald made plain the strength of a world united. This attire you carry demonstrates much the same truth. Ah, uh, but perhaps you assume that you would need to talk to me around to the idea. If so, I apologize for the disappointment. If, if it's any comfort, I'm nearly as surprised myself. I am no longer, no longer am I content to hear the words of the elementals alone. I wish to know the voices of men. Though our time in Garlemald has shown me that my ability to listen is average at best. These horns may mark me as gifted in the Twelve's Wood, but beyond, they inspire neither fear nor awe. I have been mistaken several times for Azela, and how? You have white horns, and may as well be one, for all the difference in my status as a Seed Seer makes to those who want for sucker. This is a really interesting perspective that I was honestly expecting to hear from Connie Senna at some point. Yet... It was this self-same insignificance that allowed me, for the first time in my life, to truly feel part of a greater whole. I am but one life among myriads upon this star. I dare say I should behave accordingly. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me for the yawning. With luck, my elder sister shall agree. Tell Mistress Tatari that her gift is accepted with gratitude, and she ought to hear from us soon. Okay. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. <laughs> Goodbye. That, that reminds me of Sayala's bow. 
Yes, who? Did you speak with Arun yet? That sounds promising. I'm beginning to understand what makes our seed seer friend tick. But we can discuss that later. What you need you need to catch Pippin ere his duties take him from Olda once more. I believe he spends much of his time at the Coliseum, so perhaps you should pay a visit to the Gold Court. I'll be awaiting your full report at the boutique. Okie dokie, speak with the Coliseum Usher. Okay, I'm here. I think. Oh, we are. Hello, Usher. Gold Saucer event going on right now. Hi. I see. Marshal Tarupin is currently engaged in another meeting, but I shall tell him that Captain Hirasol is awaiting his convenience. Wait, Captain? What does he mean by cap? Is it because I'm a serpent captain? <laughs> does that have to do with my grand company rank? I don't know if that line changes. I am a serpent captain, though. Oh, look at Lil Pippin. He also voices Shulk. <laughs> My apologies for keeping you waiting. I did not expect you, you here this evening. Well, I did not expect to be doing this much for a Tataru either, but actually I should have. <laughs> Tataru is offering quality material, is she? Sure. I can hardly say no to that. It fits almost too perfectly with my plans for the flames. I have long striven for mastery of the blade. I've required the trials of Ilzabard, however, to truly see Tizona for what it is. The fire that warms the coldest night, the spark that ignites a blaze of hope, and most of all, an unbreakable testament to Father's faith in me. More ally than tool, it is a treasure beyond price. Does every soldier of the Immortal Flames not deserve allies such as this? Arms and armor to remind them of what they fight to protect, to help them stand when they might otherwise fall. Indeed, works made possible only through the ingenuity and dedication of allies across the star may just be the sort of inspiring armaments we need. I anticipate that I will be sending along an order for custom equipment ere long. In the meantime, would you mind if I use these samples for a few trials here at the Coliseum? No problem, no problem. My thanks. We should put them to use immediately. Do, 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 do. Aw, oh, this music always makes me think about, um, Nanamo. As a child of Ulda, however, not strikes fear into my heart like the prospect of receiving valuable goods for free. I must accept, insist you accept something in return. Hmm, I had been get, meaning to gift that necklace to Taru. It's poor condition aside. She might rather have it than not. A necklace for Tataru. Interesting. I have spoken with Tataru at some length about our past. You understand, in many ways we are quite similar. As you may recall, her family was bankrupted when she was very young, a consequence of her father's business failing. They were forced to put all their wealth toward paying off his debts and then some. One asset they reluctantly parted with was a necklace treasured by her mother, which Tataru has long searched to no avail. Strangely enough, I recently discovered jewelry of the very same description amidst a store of neglected Colosseum prizes. Assuming it is the same piece, I should like to see it return to her. It is significantly worse off for having changed hands, though, and only the sapphire centerpiece remains unlost and undamaged. Aww. You may appreciate the sentiment, nevertheless, but it is difficult to say. What do you think? Could it be repaired? We have a goldsmith's guild here. Possibly. Either would be a sight better than leaving it in its current state, at least. In that case... I had considered asking the goldsmith's guild, but you ought to be able to turn a necklace into a piece that Tara would wear, if not precisely what she remembers. I imagine you will have the opportunity to pick up gems and other suitable materials on your travels. From there, it is only a matter of unifying the pieces. Are you willing? How am I supposed to start? <laughs> 
Then I will have the sapphire removed from its setting and sent to the boutique with all haste. I doubt even Tatari would dare open a private package addressed to you. Best of luck in finding the matching materials, and in your mercantile endeavors, of course. May the traders guide you to fortune affair. You mean Nothal? <laughs> I forget which one. I think the traders are Nothal. I was hoping to go to the goldsmith skill, but yeah, I think that's cute of Pippin to do. I know some, I actually know some people who are like, who do like shipping a Pippin with Tataru or something like that. We are here back again, once again. Except, are we going to skip the part where I'm actually fixing this necklace or? Hello, Medjina. You've returned with your bag. All the lights of having given away our samples, I hope. Speaking of which, a parcel from one Tip Pippin Tarupin arrived not bells ago, addressed to you. Could it be our newfound partnerships are already bearing fruit? Uh, a different story. Her mother's necklace. Why, well, that's a wonderful idea. Please allow me to assist. I swear I won't breathe a word of this to Mistress Tataru. That hippo minion's so cute. I, I'm, I'm keeping being distracted by everything. I wonder what parts you will need. Do you know what style Mr. Sataru prefers? No. If this necklace is to be a keepsake, why not focus on that? Her. Var. 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 Apologies. I could help, not help, but over here. That's quite all right, but do please keep your voice down. What was it that you were saying? It simply occurred to me that, since you were gifted the sapphire so readily, that other partners in this endeavor may wish to offer up something for Mr. Sotaru as well. With such gifts, you could turn the necklace into a memento of not just her past and its trials, but her present successes as well. That's perfect! If our plans for the boutique proceed the pace, we should soon have more than enough tokens from friends across the seas. What do you think, Salix? Okay. Well, well, were you waiting for little old me? Um, sure. M Mistress Tataru, we were just uh, discussing the successful delivery of the samples, yes. Hi. Good to hear. How fares the dear Pippin? Oh, you know, maybe he might have a little crush on you. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I knew he would come through. Though I admit I wasn't expecting to outfit a whole host of immortal flames quite so soon. I suppose it goes to show that even the most hardened warrior can always learn a thing or two. And Sycard and Arun have changed as well, if your tales are of any indication. I imagine their personal growth bodes well for that of our network. Thank you for checking up on them. We must sort through our current commissions before deciding on who to approach next, but I know I can count on you to be ready when we are. Yeah, leave it to me. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, wait, no, I wanted to grab a screenshot out of this. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, let me do that. <laughs> Look at them all, though. This is a really lovely scene right here. Complete. Da, da. Is that it, then? Or is there a second one? Oh, wait, let me check the patch notes just to be extra sure. 6.15 patch. If that's the first quest, that's sweet. That's a sweet introduction. Um, I I like... Yeah, that's it. That's only one quest right now. But yeah, that is Tataru's Grand Endeavor. Um, I like it so far. And this is a, this gives me uh, vibes of the post Heaven's Ward quest. The paths we walk, which if you know about that, that's supposed to be like one last goodbye to everyone in Heaven's Ward before moving on to Stormblood. Um, I hope Tataru's Grand Endeavor turns out to be of that scale. Uh, maybe the ending be a little sweet, you know? But um, yeah, that is it for now for Tataru's Grand Endeavor. Um, probably see y'all in 6.25 or something. <laughs> If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, I still got plenty of other Endwalker content to tackle like Hildebrand and um, the Omega Quest. <laughs> so keep on the lookout for those on my channel. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, uh, before I keep on brambling, uh, this was short and sweet. I liked it, and uh, I'm so I, I love I love quests like this in 14. I really do. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. See you in see you whenever. <laughs> bye bye now.